I have a word. Um, this morning around 3, the Lord woke me up and he started to minister to me as I began praying. He led me to read Proverbs 2. And as I'm reading Proverbs 2, the Lord started to speak to me about Beyonce. And it was as I was reading verse 16. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speak forward things. Who leave the paths of uprightness. To walk in the ways of darkness. Who rejoice to do evil. And delight in the forwardness of the wicked. Whose ways are crooked. And they forward in their paths. To deliver thee from the strange woman. Even from the stranger which flattered with her words. Which forsake the God of her youth. And forget the covenant of her God. For her house inclined unto death. And her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life. That thou mayst walk in the way of good men. And keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land. And the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth. And the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. So the Lord had, the Holy Spirit had gave me a word on Beyonce a few months ago, a few months back. And then this morning, as I'm reading Proverbs 2, he started to speak to me again, especially as I read verse 16. And I wrote what the Spirit was telling me. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Truth is reality. The root word of, or the key word of the word reality is real. When you start to see things for what they are that's real if you were to see things in the spirit if you were to see darkness in the spirit if you were to see beyonce in the spirit you would literally fall to your knees and the last part when i when i wrote when the spirit told me to write fall to your knees it's in reference to coming into repentance and as, as i started to listen to what the spirit was telling me he told me, he said, she is a modern day bell and she will be the reason for the fall of many, even herself, if she does not come into repentance. I, the Lord, the Lord has been calling her, her and her fans and even all of us into repentance. And then God also led me to read 1 Kings 18 uh, verse 21 through 39 and also Judges 2 and Judges 6. In Judges 2, 11 through 18, the, the Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight and served the images of Baal. They abandoned the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. They went after other gods, worshiping the gods and of the people around them, and they angered the Lord. They abandoned the Lord to serve Baal and the images of Ashtoreth. This made the Lord burn with anger against Israel, so he handed them over to raiders who stole their possessions. He turned them over to their enemies all around, and they were no longer able to resist them. Every time Israel went out to battle, the Lord fought against them, causing them to be defeated, just as he had warned, and the people were in great distress. Then the Lord raised up judges to rescue the Israelites from their attackers yet israel did not listen to the judges but prostituted themselves by worshiping other gods how quickly they turned away from the path of their ancestors who had walked in obedience to the lord's commands and that's the word that's what he gave me this morning but this word is, is specifically for beyonce even her fans the lord is wanting her to come into repentance he is wanting many to come into repentance. So if you are a believer, if you stand in the faith, ask God to give you discernment. Because many of these people, you, you have to be careful on who you support. It is important to test the spirit by the spirit and ask the Lord to give you discernment. Many of these celebrities that many people idolize and worship. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, 
visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me.